injured in a nightclub shooting in Greenville this morning. Um, they turned into the club. People started screaming. What deputies witnessed inside the club and the latest on the search for the gunman. To recap breaking news we've been following all morning, 10 people were shot at Lavish Lounge on Whitehorse Road this morning. Two victims are dead. Eight others are in the hospital. We have team coverage as new information continues to come in. Taggart Houck is at the hospital where some victims are still in critical condition. Nolan Blair is live at the scene. Let's go live to Nolan Blair with the very latest. Dana, good morning. The scene is still very active here at Lavish Lounge. Right behind me is the command center, and you can see that that is fired up and still very much working as they continue to comb through evidence and they are continuing to look for what else they can find that will help them on this case. Sheriff Hobart Lewis says some sort of concert was going on inside the club last night. That's when two deputies were coming down Whitehorse Road and noticed people running outside the club. Lewis says those deputies then heard active gunfire going on inside the building. First responders found multiple gunshot victims inside the club. Lewis shared more about the investigation. I don't know if we have multiple shooters at this time uh, or one that initiated it and, and one that may have shot back. We're not sure. There's a lot of a lot of shell casings inside. And Sheriff Hobart Lewis says that they are still looking for a person of interest. The sheriff says that they are hoping to get the video from inside and hopefully that will help them find a suspect. For now, reporting live in Greenville County, Nolan Blair, WYFF News 4. All right, Nolan, thank you for that report. We've also learned that four people were taken to Prism Health Greenville Memorial Hospital in critical condition. That's where we find Tagger Houck with the latest. Tag. Hey, good morning, Dana. Just want to give you a look at kind of what we're seeing here. I'll step out of the shot. Uh, kind of quiet there by the entrance, but throughout the morning, we have seen some cars go in and out of that entrance. We've also seen patrol cars with the Greenville County Sheriff's Office. At the moment, though, pretty quiet, but a hospital spokesperson confirmed to us 10 gunshot victims were taken here to Greenville Memorial. Now, Greenville County Sheriff Hobart Lewis said four of them uh, were taken here in critical condition. He then told us that two of the 10 victims died here. Uh, wouldn't say how many people were in stable condition, but Lewis says that some people were taken here in private vehicles. We were actually speaking with somebody uh, not too long ago who was here visiting. He says a friend who was at that uh, at the lounge uh, early this morning when this all happened. He says his friend is doing OK. He told us that his friend was uh, out now of the hospital. But we are working to confirm what we can with officials. We will bring that to you uh, as soon as we get it. For now, in Greenville, Taggart Houck, WYFF News 4. 
And one of the questions we are working to answer is if the club was even allowed to be open, you know, because of the coronavirus shutdown. Sheriff Lewis says that that is something that they are also investigating. Sheriff Lewis says there was no social distancing inside Lavish Lounge. Here's what he had to say. We're excited. So obviously there was a concert here for the 4th of July or, or a show, some type of event. Uh, it's, a, it's a very small space inside of there. Again, I don't have a number, total number of people that were in here. Uh, but I promise you, they weren't six feet apart. Now, the list of businesses that the state has allowed to open during this pandemic is about 7,000 names long. We are combing through that list right now to see if Lavish is on the list. We will update you as soon as we know more.